afternoon to you one and all. This is Little Daffodil coming to you once again from Islands Bull Release. Oh my gosh. So I died at the end of the last episode, in case you didn't know. I just want you to make sure you know, okay? So I went back, of course, to my Island Zero, and I put on my leather armor, grabbed my other stone axe and some food, and came back here on a raft. It takes a little longer on a raft, but I got here. It's okay. So we now have... Choom, choom, choom. I don't know where <laughs> I did a couple of things foolishly last time I should have marked where the cave entrance was I should have pulled back and stored my resources I didn't do that I didn't I was so excited I was forging ahead I was so excited yeah that that didn't end well for me did it so um, I'm back I just planted the bamboo that I had brought with me because I want it to start to grow um, because I'm gonna want to use it uh, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to be smart or I'm going to be foolish. Now, I've already proven I'm good at foolish, so I'm probably going to go that way. I need to go back and get my stuff. I do. I need to go back and get my stuff. Now, before I do that, I could build a little hut and put a bed in it and then go get my stuff. Because as far as I'm aware, my stuff won't despawn. It's not going to just disappear on me anytime soon. So, yeah, because if I put down a bed and I sleep, I'll respawn here on this island. But I only have two sets of decent armor. I haven't got a backup set. I've, I've taken out a lot of the bad things. But, of course, they took me out. I don't know. Maybe I was... Was I fighting the Alpha? I haven't gone back and watched the video yet. This is a mutated wolf. Oh, no. It's going to kill me. Again. No. See, it can stun me. It can stun me to death. Ah! Oh, that was so foolish. That was way foolish on my part. Now I'm going to have to do that again. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay. Back once again. <laughs> just because. Um, this time I just made a raft and came straight back. Because the sun should be up. Actually, I think it took less time for me to get here. Uh, should be up soon enough. And I died right here. So I've seen two mutants running around. I just I just hope that collecting this and having a second having a second uh, death doesn't mean that my first one is wiped out. I really do. Okay, now she's cold. Let's get her uniform on. She's got her axe back. She's got some basics. We don't need that. Oh, an oyster. We can put that as bait on a on a fishing pole later. Yeah, right now, I just want to wait for the sun. I'm gonna behave. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this better. Wait for the sun to come up. Okay. And I'm gonna go find the cave and just try to get my stuff back. I'm gonna hope, cross my fingers and hope that it's all still there, and that all the mutants I've killed so far are still killed so that I can get to where I lost my stuff and maybe get it back without encountering anything else because the stun feature is what's getting me is and and I can't tell if I'm hitting them so I think what was successful in the cave is the fact that I used the bow and arrow first the bow and arrow weakened them that was a good thing unfortunately right now I can't make another bow and arrow um, I have some rope because I don't have the stuff. I, I, I just don't. But while I'm standing here, I'm going to go ahead and make some rope. And let's take a look at what it takes to make the bow. Yeah, I don't have my knife. I need flint, I need sticks. You know, the basics, all the things I had and lost. <laughs> I'm going to keep the rope with me. I'm going to pick stuff up as I go. Um, yeah, I just need the sun to come up now. And it looks like it's about ready. Ah, here we go. 
that's the sun coming up. Everything turns orangey, browny, reddy, yellowy, warm, basically. And up comes the blazing sun. Okay, one thing I don't know either about the game yet is whether or not it's going to have partial moons, which would be interesting. Alright, I'm going to assume that all the bad things have gone back underground. Oh my gosh, that's so, so pretty. They made some good choices when it comes to the colors and the designation of day and night. It's just really nice. Okay, I still can't see as well as I'd like. It's still foggy. But that's okay. Ah, flint. I'll take that. And a stick. Okay. Alright, I need to find the hole in the ground, please. Oh, there's a campsite over here. Let's stop there for a second. Let's see if there's anything really useful here. Bandage. I am never quick enough to actually put the bandage on. Okay, I'll come back later. Let's mark the map. And we're going to... Oh, wait, nope. We're going to call that a place... Uh, I don't know what that's doing there, staying there for. To loot. What are you? Oh, I can change colors. Okay. Let me see what, <laughs> what did I just do? Okay. This one, I don't know what this, this cancel confirm. Can I delete it? There we go. Right clicking on it, deleting it. I don't know what this one is either. I must have just dragged a whole bunch. All right. So that is a place to come back later and loot. Uh, there's an iron knife. There's an iron knife. I will take that right now. Okay, the rest I'll come back for because I really would rather, uh, go get my stuff back in general. But I gotta figure out where I was when I lost it. So, I'm gonna try back this way. And I'm listening to the game sounds with fresh ears, kind of wondering, oh my, look at you. Are there girl sheep and boy sheep? I was wondering about the boar, too. So I actually was kind of careful to make sure there's two different kinds of boar by look. Some have tusks and some don't. And my thought was to make sure I kept one of each in case you have to in order for them to breed. It seemed like a good idea. All right. It's got to be in an area that I've already explored. Oh, look at all the sticks. Beautiful, beautiful sticks. If I had flint, enough flint and feathers, I could make bow and arrow. I see a wolf off to the left, so I'm going up this way. Because I have no desire see a wolf. Alright, I'm trying to see if I recognize anything. But, being a person who gets lost easily, um, it, it's going to take me a bit to find the hole in the ground again. Uh, I want to see... Yes, there it is! It's over on the left. I probably just passed it right by in my running around in a big circle moment. Alright, let's go stand next to it and actually mark the map. It's nice to know that I can change the colors of those markers. I hadn't known that. Or if I did, I'd forgotten. Okay. So, let's pull up the map. I'm down here. Let's put... Oh, I don't know. Let's just put this here. That. And I can right-click on it. No? Okay, there's too many noises. The trumpeting from the elephant is kind of getting to me. All right. Let's go. Let's get our stuff back. Let's hope we do anyway. Alright. So far, nothing bad. I'm just hoping they don't repopulate. Please don't repopulate. Please all be gone and dead. The ones I've taken down because... I'm going to pick up a crystal. 
to help light the way, although it's not, not as dark in here. I'm more doing that so that I can make sure you guys can see something because I don't have really good lighting. Did I go down this one? I think I did. There's no lights down there. Um, but in game on my computer, it's not bad, really. It's not bad at all. Okay. That way. I didn't go down that way. I don't remember that passage at all. Oh, that's right. No, I made a choice. I went left. <gasps> Is that all my stuff? Did I die there? Did I manage to run there? Okay. It's all my stuff. I'm taking it. No, I don't want to lie down. Not the moment to lie down. Pick it up. No, I clicked Q. Q keeps trying to make me sleep. I'm trying to pick it up, not lie down on it. Fine, let's do it this way. Now let's try Q. No, no. If I wanted to lie on it, I would press my mouse. I'm not pressing my mouse. Fine, I'm trying Q. Q makes me lie down on it. You're really, that is really annoying. I'm breaking you. Because I see stuff underneath you that I can't pick up because you are in the way of me. Okay, I think I just broke a whole bunch of sliced meat. Alright, I don't want the toadstool. I'm keeping the crab carapace. I don't want the cave mushrooms. Somehow I ended up with blue pigment. Okay, you guys can stay on the ground. Wow, it's loud when you drop stuff. Okay, going back up. We'll take some more sulfur. So far, no iron. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back to the boat. I'm going back to the boat. Really, I am. In case you didn't know. Okay, there's more bad things that way. I'm assuming that the alpha is going to be in a cave that has Ilandium. So I'm going to be able to tell when I'm facing the alpha because it's going to have Ilandium. I, I think that's logical. I don't know if it's true, but I think it's logical. Okay, more grass. Yeah, what I think we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and build a place uh, to revive in while we're here. And we're going to go ahead and put the second set of armor, the leather armor, there. At some point, I will make multiple sets of armor when I know what I want. But we're going to try this idea of building a base here underwater. Because I think that sounds really cool. And at some point, I, I you know, I've got to return back to the first island. I want to get the bamboo back from this. Back to the first island. Island zero, because that is our official base base. Come on, break. Will you break? It won't break. I can't seem to hit it. I started out hitting it. Didn't you see me? I, oh, no, I don't want to break that. Oh, it sank. It sank because I damaged it enough, I guess. Can I damage it enough to actually bust it? Oh, yes. And it got me wooden pieces. Okay, well, I was kind of hoping for... No, I don't want to do that. I was kind of hoping to actually get the bamboo back. All right, let's put the really important things. I should have two knives now. I have the iron knife that I picked up. I don't want, I need to go loot that campsite. Where's the knife? I must have busted it. When I was breaking the sleeping mat, I busted, I think I busted the uh, flint knife. All right, well, we're gonna put the flint in there. That's all I can put in there right now, but I wanna take out the bamboo, the rope, uh, the shovel anyway. So let's go ahead and put the other pieces and the extra ax, the other armor pieces and the extra ax away. Uh, cave mushroom. I didn't need cave mushroom. All right. So here is the idea. And thank you, CC, for this idea. <laughs> um, is we want to put a hut together, and we need to put it on poles for that. So if I use these. And I go out here a little ways. I want to look for something somewhat shallow, I think. 
just far enough out to be safe, but not so far that um, I have to dive deep to put them. Okay. Let me just start with one and see how this is going to work. Okay, I've got it standing. And, oh, no, missed. Missed. Oh, and I took the wrong one down. Okay, try again. And there. Is that an actual? Let's dive. Oh, that did it. Okay. Okay, that gives me a starting point, a first stilt. Excellent. Okay, and it's just above the water. Okay, and I can actually stand on the raft. I could probably stand on the boat, too, and do this. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. This is actually cool. I like the exploring, and I also like the aspects of building that come with this game. Um, it's just... it's just fun. Okay, so let's make a couple of these. I just have to be careful how much I'm using. Back. I mean, logically, if they can't get out to here, although they did run into the water. Remember they ran into the water in the last episode? We saw... oh, wait, no, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, now I'm, now I'm stuck. Here, get back on the raft. Now stand up on the raft. <laughs> now take this. So I probably should have done this further out, but I'm not going to fuss about it too much. This is this is my first go at this idea, so the main thing is to get something I can stand on now that I can actually build with. Because see, every time the raft goes up and down, what I'm trying to put down moves. Ta-da! Now I don't move. I'm on a stable platform. Okay, so I should logically be able now I'm right clicking and going into the old build menu um, that we had before this latest release because it gives me the ability to use WASD to move the block around rather than using my character movement but then you have to use J to go down or U to go up alright I may have to do another layer to keep my bed out of the water but here's an idea here is an idea. Let me take that one back. Jump off for a second, because I really haven't thought about how this is going to look when I'm done. So let's assume that this is the entrance. That, can I actually pull, I know I can pull a raft up to it, but can I pull the boat up to that? Let's just beach the raft. Can I pull? I can, I can literally uh, stick the boat ne it right on it. Okay. So this can be. No, I just want to. I want to back up a little bit, but then I want to stop. And it seems to still be drifting a little bit, but not bad. Okay, so I can get on there. So then, if I go ahead and build up three, I have stairs to a higher level. Um, I can go ahead and put crafting, let me make one of these and just see. This is a super long pole made from these poles. You have to make the shorter poles and then you can make the bigger pole. All right. And then, let's see if I can place this. Yeah, I'm going to have to risk drowning here for a minute. But luckily there's nothing here to kill me. Okay, so I'm right-clicking and getting in the old menu again. And thus, so I don't have to build it all the way under... Now, I had a starting, I basically made myself a starting point. That first pole gave me a starting point, and I'm kind of tempted to go ahead and... I, I do want it to look somewhat realistic. I, I like that, you know, reality doesn't necessarily hold sway, but 
I do want it to look nice. <laughs> there. So from a walking up to it perspective, that looks like it can legitimately hold up. And then the water is there. Um, and let's see, how would I walk out there though? Well, I won't. The idea is that nothing can just walk right out there, right? Let's see if I can bring the raft to the front. I don't want to give anything the ability to walk into my house. Uh, back at Island Zero, I actually have had the lizards have actually walked up onto the sun deck. It's been kind of funny because they look a little awkward up there. All right. Yeah, so to get up there, I would have to literally take the raft because I can't jump up here. So that gives me protection from anything on the island. Oh, that's very good. All right, so I'm gonna need, I need that bamboo to grow. I need more bamboo because the big thing, I have quite a bit. I brought 200 with me and I brought some more that next trip round. Uh, let's go ahead and Put, let's see, anything else I can put in there? No, 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 you can't. All right, let's go ahead then and see what I can make. I think I'm just going to have to go with this. I can make 54. I don't need that many. Let's start with 11 then. It was going to be 12, but okay. And let's just put in a floor. Now, normally, I, I also take into consideration the final look, uh, like the, the Island Zero base. I did some interesting flooring stuff, that kind of thing. But here, this is literally a survival hut. This is all about just being alive. And if I die here, having a place to revive. So whenever I come back here, the idea, and for those of you who are builders out there, I'm just right clicking and WASDing my, my blocks into place. Um, but yeah, if I come to this island, the first stop is always going to have to be here to this place to sleep in order to come back here if I die. And I'm going to need to make sure that I have the necessary supplies. Um, so that's going to include a bed and a chest with a set, an extra set of armor, weapons, whatever. So I'm going to try and make all that here on this island. Um, and then, yeah, then I'll have a place to be. I'm sort of thinking some of this through as I talk to you, so forgive me if I'm stating sometimes the obvious or thinking things through, saying things twice as I think them through. Okay, why is that not, oh, okay. If I unright click, it's up at the right level. It's so complicated. All right, we want walls. I'm going to put in a roof and windows and the whole bit, but one, two, three, I need wood. Wood and rope. So while we still can, I'm going to leave the raft there so that I can get on and off the island. Alright. Oh, and apparently she needs to eat again. I was working on the starter island uh, base, and I got so into it that I actually almost starved her to death. <laughs> it, was, it was very sad. It was very, very bad of me. All right, let's go ahead and pick up more sticks and flint while we're running around. And I just, I need to take down a tree. Hi, Piggy. You're safe from me at the moment. You're fine. I need a tree. The sun is starting to go down, actually. So I really should build a bed, which I do have the stuff for to build. I'm going to build this along the same lines as I did the base at Island Zero. So let's craft, let's craft. Oh wait, did I have, I didn't have any more, right? Okay, I'll make sure. I'm being very careful about my resources right now. I want one, two, three, four, five, six of these. Okay, and then I need a door. Although, you know what? If nothing can get in here, do I need a door? Do I really? Maybe I can just have it be open fronted you know. All right. F key, G key, H. Nope. G. I'm trying to rememorize which keys do what. Now, of course, these aren't going to fit perfectly up along. Oh, 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 yeah. That's why I need walls right there. 
that's the main reason. And actually, I'm just realizing I might want to make this bigger. I just realized that. Because I'm going to want enough room to put all this stuff down. And, and just moving on it like that showed me I didn't have enough room. Uh, because I'm going to need the bed, the chest, um, and I probably going to end up with a little deck in the front. And if I can put a ladder in, we will have, yeah, if I can put a ladder in, we'll have a roof to climb up on and store things. So those don't line up the same, do they? What did I do different? Oh, they're one forward, aren't they? They are. They're one forward. Okay. It's not raining, and I don't have a roof over my head. So, ooh. come back up here. Thank you. This does get a little persnickety, especially for me, because I am not best at anything about any game. I want you to line up with this block. Like that. And now the sun. Ah. That doesn't look like it's working. So, switching gears, as we will do. Let's just do, see what bed options we have. Oh, we can do one of these. I can do it with sticks. It'll only take five sticks. Really? How much bamboo does it take? It takes five bamboo. Well, I'd rather keep the bamboo for the moment. Sticks are usually more precious, but right now, honestly, bamboo is. So let's just put the bed down because I don't know what my configuration is going to be yet. So I hate putting something down already, but let's do that. Let's go ahead and have a lie down. Okay, because it's not raining, we can sleep through the night. If it starts raining, it won't let me because I don't have a roof. That's okay. And now I'm bound to that bed. So if I die, I will return here, which is fine. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can get this in place. And we'll do a little bit more. Is that lined up properly? That looks better. Okay, now I need to do the same thing over here because for some reason I want it centered on those first blocks that we put down because, you know, that just feels correct. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're not going to have much of a balcony because of the bed size, although I can always destroy the bed and put another one in its place. Okay, so we have a nice big platform. Um, yeah, I'm trying to decide how much of this I want to enclose because I don't, I have lots of options. So what if we did this? Does it have to be completely enclosed? Because you know what? It's not like there's anybody else. I am a single player girl um, because it means I don't have to worry about other people coming along and stealing all my stuff or griefing my base. And so I can make my decisions a little bit differently as far as deciding what kind of hut to make. And I like that. I like that a lot. Is that centered? It is, but it needs another one by it to make it fully equal on the windows. Okay. Alright. That's cool. That works. Alright, this, this video is actually taking a bit, bit long. And that's okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is you've kind of seen where I'm going with this. I'm going to finish the hut up between episodes and then we'll pick up from there and we'll finish exploring this island because, you know, it's got, it's got stuff. It's got secrets. We've got to pillage that um, campsite. we got to go and check out and see if there is actually a box under the Tesla coils. We'll go take a look at the tower and we'll check out the rest of the island. And then when we're ready, we're going to go back down into the cave and try and finish off the monsters and clear this island of monsters. I think eventually I will keep a tier one island generating monsters because it'll be an Islandium generator. 
this, that'll be how to continually get Islandium. And I'm assuming there's more than one tier one island. I, I'm, I'm hoping there's two of each, at least. So we'll find out. Uh, in the meantime, comments, suggestions, uh, questions below, no problem. Uh, Discord, the islands uh, forum is out there. There's clubs starting, apparently, that you can join if you need advice or if you're looking for communities of people to play with. In the meantime, this is Little Daffodil thanking you as always. I'll see you in the next one.